हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू मॉड्यूल 16 ऑफ एन ए टेन बेसिक जीरो टू वन कोर्स दिस मॉड्यूल इज गोना बी अबाउट कोड नोड वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग एंड माय पर्सनल फेवरेट नोड्स आउट देयर ऑन एन ए टेन लेट्स डायरेक्टली डाइव इनटू इट सो कोड नोड व्हेन टू यूज इट इट्स बेसिकली यूज फॉर एडवांस्ड यूज केसेस वेयर बिल्ट इन नोड्स आर इंट इनफ लेट्स यू राइट स्मॉल जावा स्क्रिप्ट टू ट्रांसफर और एनालाइज डेटा so personally to me this is one of the most favorite nodes of mine why because i do not know how to code okay and yeah let's be very honest this is a no code tool so why do we need a code node there and if we are no code developers then how can we code right so that's the biggest question and the best answer to that question is a single word which is called as chat gpt trust me i have created advanced level automations multiple workflows agentic workflows ai based workflows uh, rag agents complex models and all everything i have used code node but i do not know what happens inside that code block <laughs> okay so when i say chat gpt i honestly mean chat gpt so let's take on a challenge if you remember in the webhook node module what i said was whatever that webhook data was giving right i would convert the body of that data into individual schema and so that i can fetch out the name and the text content out of that particular body so if you remember in our webhook node module what i said was in the code node module i would take on that webhook and i would kind of filter out and just fetch out the body details where the attendee id is name is and all those information are we'll take that out and we kind of figure out what was the message and maybe generate a response to it or something like that but yeah just separate that body into individual items of schema so that we can take it into our workflow so let's get back to it and let's use a code node to do that and here we are back on that webhook let's copy this to the editor and there you go let's click this let's explore this a little bit and yeah here we have that so all i would do now is one i'd open chat gpt and i'd take this entire thing i'll do control c control v and then start talking to this hey chat gpt so this is a workflow that i am creating in n8 and this is the webhook node a messaging webhook it has received a payload and the payload contains Uh, an object called as body and inside that body there are multiple options like attendee id uh, attendee name message body and all those things right so what i want to do is i want to fetch out uh, just that particular part or those particular attendee id time stamp attachments uh, provider id attendee name attendee profile url i want to fetch out all of that and uh, then i want to do this using a code node in n8 n so give me the json code that i need to write in in that code node so that this can happen that's it i've sent this transcript and uh, let's wait for chat gpt to respond so chat gpt is done thinking and it's creating the entire code right now i really don't know what it's doing to be honest but yeah let's try it out and let's see what comes out of this so the code node is prepared let's copy this come back to our workflow add the code node here and uh, just simply paste the code right here that's it let's execute the step and let's see what output we get so hi everyone uh, this has been probably like 2 3 hours uh since i started off with this challenge of converting this webhook into individual schemas and i was thinking that it could be done using code node but after tons and tons of conversations with chat gpt like you can see from here right uh, from this very moment like all these conversations just pasting the entire code talking to it uh, reviewing the code once again and thinking of how we can approach this uh, been doing this for like 2 hours uh, what i finally figured out is that uh, this can not be done via a code node so i leave it at this 
okay and let's dive back into the module by the way in the middle i did not just use chat gpt i actually went to claude and had a lot of conversations there are a lot of chats there you can see 40 minutes 43 minutes ago so been an hour i think since i've been doing this now a whole hour into this and then i figured out that okay code node is not what is needed to convert this into this kind of output uh, but yeah, I finally achieved it. We, can, we have the attendee name, profile URL, subject, everything we have here. And I've done that using an AI agent, a structured output parser, and this edit fields. So one I, of course, save this. Now let's uh, take an example of the code node as well. In this workflow, uh, you will see that I have attached two code nodes because what's happening is I'm calling this particular HTTP request and this is giving me the results out of this URL, which is basically kind of fetching out some of the researches. And then these two code nodes, what they're doing is one, they are mapping all the items individually. And then the second node, what it does is checks and filters out all the posts, which have been made in a single day ago, based on the past items from the previous code node. So in order to start off with this entire workflow, I will need these two code nodes to perform some specific certain actions. So one of the examples of code node would be that you can see in this workflow, what happens is there's some data or my competitor names, which are being fetched out of this particular Google sheet node, then their profile data is scraped, then all their posts are listed out. And then there is a code node to filter out all the posts, which have been made in the last 24 hours. You can read this. So this is a 18 line code. I do not know what this is. I have never written JSON in my life and I did not write this. I simply copy pasted this into chat GPT. I told chat GPT what I want and it gave me the code. And after a few testings of, you know, this is the output. I want this, I want that you kind of figure it out that, okay, this is what you need exactly. So now a couple of examples of where you can use the code node is one. This is date format conversion, which you just saw me use, right? So you can copy this code. You can go to chat GPT to get these codes. You simply copy paste the previous nodes and the code node attached to it to chat GPT and tell chat GPT what you want in the code node and it will create it. Uh, my recommendation is don't just go for chat GPT. Sometimes it's not the best for coding. If you really want something which is great for coding, go for Claude. Then second thing is field merging. So you can combine multiple fields into one string. So let's say in a form, you're getting a first name and last name, but in the output, what you want to do is you want to combine that. So it's first name and last name in a single row. So this code is creating a constant, which is full name. And then it's basically adding on, or this is more like a concatenation or these two apostrophes that you're seeing these kind of concatenate. These of these are the two dynamic items that is being fetched this location variable, which is being created. It's a constant variable and it has item city, item country, item country, all this. I really don't know what that is. Never coded it kind of get an overview of, okay, what this has written because once upon a time it used to be a BTEC CAC grad. So kind of get this, but never gone into it to be honest. So, yeah, so this was code note, really not something which no code people would be using a lot, but it kind of functions pretty well. You just take this as a trick node that whenever there is something happening, which is out of the individual nodes. And I need some function happening in that workflow. There should be something which should be edited there and set node is not able to edit it. Right. Then you use the code node. So this was it about module 16. See you in the next video.